This is the 2018 Chevrolet Avio. And while it's difficult to imagine that the same brand that makes the Corvette ZR1 makes this, here's what you need to know about it. The Avio fits in between the smaller Spark and the larger Cruze. The Avio competes with the Mitsubishi Atraj and the Toyota Yaris sedan. And this mid-option model costs just 48,000 dirhams. steel wheels and a tall body design, the Avio isn't exactly good looking, but it is practical. The bulbous roof for improved headroom, the halogen fog lamps for improved visibility, the large boot for improved practicality, and the enormous windows, well, I'm not really sure why they're that big, but they do make the car feel very airy. <laughs> Chevrolet Avio, there's a lot of hard, grainy plastic, but that's expected from a car in its price range. The four-way adjustable seats are soft and comfortable. The AC blows an ice storm despite it being over 40 degrees outside. And while it wears a facade of practicality, with two glove boxes and plenty of odd-shaped cubby holes, the truth is that you're still left with storing your phone in the cup holder to stop it from falling out while driving. Matching its Japanese rivals on the safety front, the Chevrolet Avio is armed with ABS, traction control and all of two airbags. Although it misses out on rear AC vents, there's plenty to keep drivers entertained. From an odd menu button on the indicator stock that blurts out a tire learn message in the instrument cluster and a truly revolutionary business card holder integrated into the dashboard. Without digging too deep into the technicalities, the Avio is fitted with a 1.6 litre engine which is bigger than what both its Japanese rivals have to offer. The benefit? More power. The drawback, it isn't as fuel efficient, sipping 7.1 litres for every 100 kilometres. <music> Distributing the power is a six-speed automatic transmission. No, none of that CVT nonsense that claims to better fuel economy, just a proper six-speed automatic that shifts through gear seamlessly and holds them up until red line in manual mode. Having said that, the Avio does teach its drivers a very important quality, patience. With people cutting you off and the high beams being completely ignored, those looking for permanent residency in the fast lane better look elsewhere. At 49,000 dirhams, the Chevrolet Avio falls between the cheaper Atraj and the pricier Toyota Yaris. While it's not a car you'd write home about, it is an affordable commuter car, and that's what it's set out to be. So Chevy, target achieved. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you think about the Avio in the comments below.